Hey guys, what's going on? Dan the Man coming at you from the 60s Rule Channel. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of ground to cover today. And uh, yeah, we got the new shop cards came in. And we got some shop card shout outs. We got some stash ads. And we got an update on the, uh, yeah, that guy over there. 66 Marlin. So don't go anywhere and stick around. <laughs> guys all right back at the bench over here uh first up we got some uh shop card shout outs yeah let's go check this out we got this uh card in here from adam from sodak model cars very cool card adam thank you so much for the card and uh thank you for the kind words in the back the feeling is mutual it is a great community we're in man Love being in this community, man. We learn so much every day, you know, sharing ideas and stuff and uh, watching each other's videos. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Welcome to the club, brother. And uh, if you're not subscribed to this guy, go over and check his channel out, man. He's got some great content over there. And uh, here's his email address if you want a shop card. Right over here. So, Adam, thank you so much for the card, brother. Really appreciate it. Uh, next up, uh, everybody knows this guy here, right? <laughs> Jeff Donahue, Scale Modeling. Thank you so much for this card, man. I've been waiting for this card, man. I'm telling you, Jeff, this is a really cool card. And I remember this build over here. I followed the build. This guy is an awesome builder, man. Go over to his channel and check out his work. I believe he's doing a... Uh, a model on the uh, USS Arizona. I think he's like up to episode 12 already. It's a monumental build, but uh, boy, he's putting a lot of time and effort into that build, man. Really cool stuff, man. Go check him out. And uh, if you want a shop card, here's his email address right here. You can pause it anytime. Check it out. And Jeff, thank you so much for the card and the kind words in the back. Feelings mutual, brother. And guess what? We got a new shop card. Check this out. What do you think, guys? It's a uh, redesigned card. Uh, just added one of my other bills on here. You know, you saw this guy already, right? A lot of you guys commented on that bill I did a while ago. And we got some of the, uh, the uh, advertisements on the side. And uh, guess what? It's two-sided. Check that out. <laughs> yeah. Some of the work we do here on the channel. And, uh, yeah, tell them Dan the Man sent you. <laughs> Listen, you guys uh, want one of these cards? Um, put in a request for it. Drop me an email. Some of you new guys, you don't have any of my cards. You know, just, like I said, send me an email. I'll put you on a list. I'll send one out to you. And uh, if you already have a, one of my cards... Uh, what you can do is uh, just hold tight. I save all the uh, envelopes. I got all your addresses, unless you moved. If you didn't move, that's fine. If you did, then, you know, update your address and drop me an email. But uh, I'll send them out to you guys, all right? It'll take a while because uh, I got quite a few to send out. So uh, there's a new card. I hope you guys like it. And uh, if you want one, uh, here's my email address right there. Just drop me a line, and I'll get one on out to you ASAP. All right, guys? Uh, what else we got? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause it here. We're going to go back to the bench. Hold on, guys. 
All right, guys, we're back at the bench here. We got a little update on this guy over here, the vintage uh, 1966 Marlin. And uh, so far, so good. I'm taking my time with this and uh, very pleased with uh, the progress so far. I uh, hit it with some uh, primer. This is the primer I use right here. I really like this stuff. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Still Nerez? I think I pronounced it right. Anyway. Bought the stuff on Amazon, you know, I got the three pack, the, the white, black, and gray. And this stuff is awesome, man. See, when I can't, uh, get weather gets too crappy and I can't paint with my uh, uh, gray and black primers, uh, <clears throat> you know, rattle cans outside, this will go through my airbrush flawlessly. It lays down really smooth. So once I did that, I taped off, you can see this entire area was taped off because uh, it's a two-tone. That's actually going to be all black right there. So I hit it with that, uh, was that Sunshine Yellow Krylon? And uh, it came out really nice. It paint just leveled itself off. But I'll tell you guys, these rattle cans, man, that material flows out of there so damn fast. Uh, when I was painting, I had to back off like about a foot and just one pass on each side, top and front and rear. And... Uh, you know, wait about five minutes and just hit it again because so much material comes. I didn't want it to run. So I took my time with it, and I, I'm really happy the way this came out. So um, I got one little tick over here, and it's probably my fault. I think it's my fault. I don't know if you can see it right next to the door handle. See that little spot over there? I probably didn't put enough of uh, primer down. I think that's what it was because I uh, sanded the entire body and washed it with soap and water and let it air dry out overnight before I even put the primer on. So um, I, I didn't want to put too much primer because I love the script worked over here. And in the back here it says 327 emblem over here. I was afraid if I put two coats of primer I might obscure the, um, you know, the script work. But uh, yeah, it came out really nice. I, um, I don't know, what do you guys think? So far so good. Now... I'm going to let this sit for about three more days and then I'm going to tape all this off and then we're going to hit the roof and the uh, back deck over here with uh, high gloss black and uh, that'll take care of the paint. So that's looking really sharp. Uh, let me move this on the side and we got the hood. Hood came out pretty good. Not bad. Also painted the inside of the hood as well. Same body color. And uh, we got the dash. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, dash came out pretty good. Body color. Let me see if I can get it in focus. There you go. Body color. Nice. And then I taped this off right here. I was uh, looking at a lot of reference photos on uh, the internet. And this is actually supposed to be, I think, black on top and then like chrome on the bottom. So. Once this uh, cures up, I'll take the tape off and I'll, I'll highlight that. I'll do that by hand. So we got that going on. That's looking pretty good. And uh, we got the interior tub done. And I use this guy over here. I'm running out of this paint. I love this paint, man. Too bad it's out of production. It says opaque on there, but actually it comes out like a semi-gloss. And that's exactly what I was looking for, man. You know, that 100% uh, genuine imitation leather. <laughs> Yeah, it came out really nice, and then I, I taped this entire section off and painted the um, the uh, firewall there, because that's all body color, and also we uh, we primed the chassis down, see, and uh, I got the uh, engine compartment, uh, same body color, so got a little overspray there, but that's okay, I got to detail these pipes, and what I'm going to do at the bottom, I think I'm going to hit it with some kind of uh, maybe like a gunmetal color. And then I'll pick out all these highlights from the uh, axle and the uh, drive shaft and, you know, all this other stuff here. You know, exhaust system, gas tank. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick out that. We'll do that by hand later on. So that's coming out pretty good. And then the uh, start of the engine, I think it's a, yeah, it's a 327. So it's supposed to be, uh, I guess, Chevy engine red. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, the photos I've seen, anyway. And then uh, we're going to wire and plumb this thing. You see the uh, little uh, fuel pump there? Hit that with brass. 
And I got a little hole there I drilled for the uh, plumbing. That's going to go from uh, the carburetor to the uh, fuel pump. And then uh, I ordered wires from uh, Morgan Automotive Detail. So they'll be coming in this week sometime. They're going to uh, spark plug wires, boots, uh, heater hoses. Uh, we're going to do the whole nine yards to this guy right here. So, uh, yeah, it's got a big hole in a block. I think that was from uh, some other models they had in their lineup. Not on this one. This one has independent suspension on it. So, uh, yeah, we got that going on. Did the uh, did the uh, transmission in silver. You can see right there. And, uh, yeah, it's coming along. And I uh, got uh, some other parts. Got the front seats. Painted those guys. I think they came out really nice. Once I hit those buttons over there with a uh, gel pen, you know, I think that'll that'll really, really pop over there. You know, and uh, everything else is all these small parts are in primer. And uh, here's the uh, manifold we got to put on, and other things over here as well. We got the battery painted. We're gonna highlight that as well. Well, that's really black. I can't even. <laughs> yeah, that's flat black. Anyway, we'll, we'll we'll get it done. We'll get it done. We're taking our time here, guys. It's coming out really nice. I'm very happy the way the build's coming along. Uh, you know what? Got some stash heads. Let me uh, move some of this junk out of the way. I can tell we're busy. Look at this bench. <laughs> it's going to get messy no matter what you do, guys. It's unavoidable. Yeah, me and the missus, we went to Hobby Lobby today. And on Monday, they have 40-50% uh, off everything. And the kit that I really wanted, I saw it on the uh, live chat there with, uh, uh, who was that, Terry from Super Sport Modeling? Super Sport Model Shop. Uh, he was uh, unboxing that, uh, what was it, 34 Ford Wrecker. And I said, man, I want to get that thing. I saw it there last week, and I said, I'll wait till it goes on sale. And what do you know? I get there, and it's gone. But uh, I still picked up some good stuff. How about this? We got this here. Fat Fenders, baby. The 53 Ford AMT. It's got the uh, vending machine in here. And, uh, yeah, it's got the dolly that comes with it. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to make this into a work truck. And you know what's cool about this kit? It's got two engines in it. It's got the flat. I didn't even know that. So it says, yeah, stock and custom engines included. So I'm going to put the uh, the custom engine in here. And then I think the flathead I'm going to save for uh, a rat rod project I got going on. I was building the fruit wagon uh, a while back. And I... I used a hot rod uh, kit that came out of it. You know, it was a two for one. And I used that to build a uh, Fred Henry appreciation build. So I still have parts uh, for a hot rod in there. I just need an engine. And that baby might go in there. So that's cool. All right, what else we got? Uh, oh, this one's pretty cool here. Oh, guys, these were 40% off. I did not pay more than $19 for each kit. Uh, this one, I think, was 11 bucks. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, I think this is a reissue. It's not the original, but still, it, it's still a nice kit. Atlantis. I've seen a few guys build this one. This is really cool, man. I like these old vintage trucks. They're really cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into this one uh, in the near future. And I got a picture of the, uh, there we go, the finished product right there. It's a small scale, but hey, guys, you know, I like the small scale. I got a lot of 132nd kits in my stash. I got to start getting to and last but not least, another vintage police car. Uh, I seen some guy build it on uh, a couple guys built this on uh, on their YouTube channels. Pretty cool stuff. I like the old vintage stuff. And yeah, it's got the uh, optional side curtains on here. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I might do it like that. I don't know if it does it come with figures. I don't know. Let's see. Here's all the parts on here. It shows two figures in there. I don't know if they come, but we'll find out when we open it up. And uh, here's all the... Uh, oh, it's got this uh, whole high-speed pursuit engine. Wow. <laughs> I guess back in the day, that's what you needed right, to catch the crooks, right? <laughs> of course, you had to have a nightstick and a shotgun. <laughs> wow, pretty cool, huh? And that's not all, guys. I needed cases. And man, the cases up there on eBay, they're just too damn expensive. You know, for a, 
a, a 120 uh, Ford scale case. They want like 12 bucks plus shipping, and it's going to cost you 20 bucks. I got the small guys here. Look at this. $5.99. That's right, man. This is the smaller one. I can put my uh, 132nd scalers in there and small items. Got three. I took all three of them. There was three left. I got all three of those. And I got uh, the bigger one because I need some uh, cases for my uh, larger scales. Yep. $6.99, man. Can't beat that, man. You buy it there on sale, no shipping, and it does the trick. Nice case. All right, guys. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long. So, uh, yeah, uh, getting back to these cards. Don't forget about Jeff. If you're not subscribed to Jeff Donahue, go check him out. You will not regret it. He's an awesome guy, and he's a great builder. He's got a good content. Check him out. And this guy here, too, Adam from uh, South Dakota. Go check him out, man. He's got good content. Great guy, too. Awesome builder. And here's the email address. And then we got my card over here. If you want one, drop me an email. If you already have one, uh, don't worry, because if you already have an old card, I'll, you know, I'll send one out to you because, I, like I said, I save all the addresses, and I'll get them out to you as soon as I can, guys. All right, with that being said, guys, uh, that's all I got for you today. And, uh, guys, enjoy the rest of your night. Be safe and keep on building.